It's raining in Orlando. But we found a place where you can still get your Disney fix. I can't wait to see what's inside. Every time we go in, there's always something new. So let's get ready to go on this Get Your Disney Fix on a Rainy Day Adventure, Adventure That Rocks. Right away, as soon as you go through the front door, Mickey and Minnie are here to greet you from the 1990 Very Merry Christmas Parade. You could be royalty. Only $47.50. Taking the time to do is they even include what those costumes would have looked like as if they wore them in the parade. And it just tells you all about it. You want a piece of the castle? Check this out. This is right here. They don't have a price on it from what I can see. But like, look at this huge flower. And it, I'm right, it went right underneath the 25. So that's pretty cool. It's actually kind of like a piece of the castle. So if you want a piece of actual Disney history, just look at the tags and you'll see what they are, where they're from. Yeah. It's so cool. I was trying to find the tag for that big yeah. flag, <laughs> but couldn't find it. But pretty sure it came from Disneyland Hotel. Have shirts left over for some of the events out here. Like this one's $15. The original price on it was $34.99. Everyone knows how well respected or thought out the Disney trash cans are. So why not take one of yours home for only 395? Yeah, you know, they have this different collection of construction hats, the raincoat, the construction vest, but I can't figure out how much this Dumbo is. Favorite parts is that they have ornaments you know how every year the park takes down all their ornaments and sometimes i guess they're know they're going to be swapping them out so like they tell you where the ornaments came from which i think is really cool like here this art of animation tree resort seven dollars and fifty cents but yeah they come from the resorts they have them like these are supposed to be hung in the park at like magic kingdom or somewhere around, but they just didn't get to use it. Oh no, look, it says Magic Kingdom right there. Where else are you gonna find Figment shirts? If they had one in Sandy's size, she definitely would get it, and it's only $12. Do you ever, like, wish when you went to the Little Mermaid room in the Art of Animation, if you could have one of their Little Mermaid shower curtains? Guess what? It's for sale here, and it's $60. Wow. It's a good deal. Original Disney property history. I'm not even sure what this is, but isn't this cool? Look, I've got like a trigger feature here and all kinds of hoses attached to it. I got it. Maybe it's like a lawn sprayer. A I mean, can you imagine standing out on the lawn and I'm spraying the grass with this thing? They do have an adult lar extra large and large in this for only $12. Let me go see if Sandy so wants just it. Just to give you an idea of some of the artwork, this one here was actually the print used during the making of Walt Disney Pictures, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree in 1966. And yeah, you're seeing that price right. Love this sign, rock your Disney side. But $55, I don't think it's coming home with me. It's a nice chair you got there. This is cool, and check it out. Behind it, voila! Oh, that's cool. Does it say where it's from? No, it doesn't say exactly where it's from, unfortunately. It says it's an original prop DVC Mickey Mouse chair. Disney Vacation Club. Okay. Maybe you're a fan of the Disney Cruise Lines and you want something of the ship to take home. This ottoman's only 60 bucks. Ever think you miss out on those popcorn buckets or those special sippers that they have? Look around because you might find it here. And I've never seen this one before. It has Rapunzel on it, but then they want $5 for it. The Haunted Mansion ones are going for 10. Cast member costumes. And they got them from all kinds of stuff. Like this says it's from 
Disney Channel rocks and like how it's even sewed in the label there. I guess maybe they do that at wardrobe. And this one here, Disney Animal Kingdom Restaurant Saurus Top. It's just cool. And sometimes they have stuff more than just Disney and Universal. I mean, this is from medieval times. And that way they got Mayan and Sandy's outfits ready to go. Look at this pretty red tree. This is from Epcot and it's only $95. That's a really good price when you think about it for a display from the park. And we don't even have to decorate this one. We just throw on some lights. But heck, if you're gonna get the table from the Polynesian, you might as well throw in the pillow also. The pillow is $95, but let's say, eh, you really want something that represents the Polynesian. How about this tree? $595, but you got Christmas all year and the feel of the Polynesian also. Awesome. Yes, on some of their other trees, like this is one's from Disney Springs and it's $50. And this one here is from Disney Springs too. It's $85. So that bigger one over there, Sandy pointed out, that could be the better deal here if you're in for the Christmas trees. You're never going to know what you find in these stores. This is a huge wall prop display sign from World of Disney. It features Hidden Mickey, Winnie the Pooh, Goofy, and Donald Duck. Even tells you it was used in 2011. Things I think would really be cool is when you see stuff like this and when they give you the dates that you go back and look, do I got photos of when I was at the park at that time period? And look, there's that display right behind me. All kinds of stuff like this is from the Wilderness Lodge room, a coat rack. But then from the Magic Kingdom, one of these souvenir props, the purple box, and then a car's lampshade for $75. All right here. All kinds of stuff. I think you're starting to get the idea here. Contemporary Resort prop tissue boxes, a phone from the Contemporary Resort. There's so much to cover in here. Like from the Polynesian, and that's only $229 for a piece of artwork like that from Disney property that's actually a very good price there you have like a sunflower bench they call it from Epcot and they said they used that during the art and flower festival but then you got this gorgeous decorative ca cabinet from Animal Kingdom Lodge here says it was used in a property gift shop so not ma making it that definitive if it was Pirates of the Caribbean or not. Still a great piece and it's $270. And these are prop tiki desk lamps from Polynesian for $295. Garland, it's $95 and this was from Mickey's at Hollywood. And then these Christmas prop display boxes are only $25. And I could spend hours and hours in here. Oh, yeah. Sandy found something. This is from the Grand Floridian, and it says there is a hidden Mickey artwork. Can you see it? I think right there. There we go. There's just more and more and more stuff everywhere you turn. So we always say give yourself probably an hour, if not two hours, if you want to those pieces of Disney to learn about all that Disney history going on because this place is huge. Things hanging in the ceilings. Look at those huge wall displays over there. I mean, everywhere you look, Universal, they haven't been forgotten in this store either. Look, from Halloween Horror Nights, this display case, like in the arcade, I think that's when Stranger Things was the main house over there. $1,500, but they got all kinds of Halloween horror merchandise in here. Magnets, the glasses, bone props for $5.25. How much work and thought that goes into these thick prop signs that you might not even realize, like $125 for this Halloween Horror Nights one. $299.99, so $300 for this Jurassic World one, but it's thick, it's durable, you know it stood the passing of weather. This is cool right here, a Men in Black 
merchandise display and how they give you the picture of where it was used. Get one of the big signs, like this one's $195, but why stop at the sign when you can get all of this? So to give you an example, how much for like this one, it's 2,500. Same with this guy's 2,500 also. And they do tell you that it came from Sheck's Ye Old Souvenir st Store, the Scarcrow stock display. Even like these slot machines were used in Penn and Teller's Haunted House. So it's so cool just to see that level of detail Universal puts inside those haunted houses. Jurassic Park one is 225 and like I said they try to tell you as much information is that what they can gather even they have like this minions prop sign for 150 but look you can get your choice the black and gold Christmas tree these silver ones these pink ones they're pretty tall too Price. that from stranger things is still here but i don't see what the price is on it but stranger things is just such a huge property especially when the new season starts so i'm surprised i have a feeling this is gonna go real quick a lot of the stuff is vintage but look this is just from last year 2021 this one's 395 and because this is like the jack teaser sign it's 355 Huge, massive pirate ship display with the skulls. Maybe Sandy will get it for me for 5,000. Christmas trees are from the Dr. Seuss area. And I did notice they do have lights. And I went to go see if I could even try to attempt to plug it in. But I've looked all around the base of this thing and there's no wiring. So I don't know if that all the wiring just tucked in there and dropped down, but it's only 250. I'd love to know your comments. $25, but are you really gonna want a piece of history like this? Sandy told me she would like to take all of our masks when it's over and use them as Christmas tree decorations. And I keep saying, not on my watch. Check this out, this Disney wilderness Garland, probably one of the best deals in here. It's only $65. Okay, so this sign you may find a little interesting, especially if you happen to follow all the Universal Studios rumors groups, because look what is here that was on this sign for $195. If you happen to know what I'm talking about with this, definitely put it in the comments down below. Everything you see in this video might not be here, so be sure to call and ask them to check and have them put on hold the item that you're looking for before you make that trip. Yeah, because there's been a lot of people in here today. Yeah. But like we said, it's a rainy day. Where else are you gonna go? It's so, it's so funny. Look how Darth Vader's holding him with calls. What does it say? $20 a day. Of course you can on $20 oh, that is a day. so hilarious. But what I also like is how this is from Star Tours compared to what they are promoting for Rise of the Resistance now. Yeah, what a difference. No Polynesian had a princess suite. This lamp's only $95. They even have like movie posters and they tell you where they were hung at. Like this one here was intended to be used aboard one of the Disney Cruise Lines. Those bird trees you see all over the Grand Floridian, well, around the Grand Floridian, $200. Vintage costumes, $115. I like how some of them even had like that Mouseketeer mask back there. And check it out, they do have name tags and I guess to help they give you the list of names right there that they have. Buttons, they definitely have them. They have these Mickey tables from the All-Star Resorts at $75. Look 
about this? Is it a mirror or was it a headboard? It was in the Port Orleans Princess Room. And it's $295, but just look at all the details in that. Have to put together any Legos if we get this. $850 was used as a display. I wonder if everything's glued together. This plate, $6.95, and I think it's an original. Yeah, it looks vintage. So what we're gonna do is, I think I've seen that, like at Disney Springs or in like the Emporium. We're gonna find that and see how much it is. Disney price. And look behind you. There's a Mickey topiary. Where? Right over your shoulder. Oh, oh, look everybody. How's that for a shot, huh? This might be one of the most expensive pieces in here. And this was from the Disney store. It's $16,995. I'm sure Sandy would let us take that home. Right as soon as you come in, you come across this huge collection of Winnie the Pooh stuff. And check this out. This I found fascinating was this Piglet original book art print for $525. Sorry about the camera glare there. A lot of Winnie the Pooh artwork. And I do think that they come in and they change it up. But look at this. Todd's the whole Sandy. I would love to have this street sign. I don't know where I'm in the house I'd use it for or what I'd use it for, but I cannot be the only one that thinks that this is just very cool. I don't know how to describe the size of looks like Winnie the Pooh's refrigerator, his honey bowl on top, his oven. And this was used in Southern California at like one of those California club Disney locations. And besides park displays, I mean, just look at the collection of vintage items that they have in here also. I got a big smile on my face. You can ask Sandy because I actually have one of these. I mean, not in the box because I use mine to be under the Christmas tree. So I see it was two one ninety nine. So basically two hundred dollars for this. And I think I got mine for like ten bucks. But it was like a, one of those Black Friday Christmas sales. Around you'll find like these cast member exclusive newspapers or magazines that they would put out. And look at this one, the excitement of Hollywood and the magic of Disney. So just think about that history there. If you remember when the park first opened, what must be inside this? And I think it's only $10. All kinds of glasses. So check this out. Bed knobs and broomsticks, a 1971 original prop. You mean like from the movie? was from the movie The Alamo in 2004, and it even comes with a certificate of authenticity. The place is huge. Look at that Ronald McDonald. I mean, look how far Sandy goes down. Look through all the signs and stuff, because you never know what you're gonna find like this. It's only 50 bucks. And to come framed like that, that's actually not a bad deal. But this, just to give you, show you an idea of the variety, like Disneyland Grad Night, Pandora, Happy Holidays, and they tell you like Grad Night 2002, Disneyland Paris 20 years, because I think they just started their 30 year anniversary or it's coming up. Big old banners from the wine and dine half marathons, this year of a million dreams. Just so much Disney history here that you can find. This is a huge wall prop. And this, I'm not sure if that was used in like the Disney store or maybe like one of the resorts. You know how Disney has the Disney resorts and then they have the wider circle like around Disney Springs and stuff like that for those resorts. But look at that. And it's huge. And look at this one, how fun is this? $175 plays 50 songs. That's pretty cool. I love this one. I mean, this piece is like solid and it's $295 and they say it's a Disney Yacht Club Mickey lamp. 
even get your own Disney puppet theater. And I think it includes the puppets, but I'm not sure on that. It's 4,500 and it says it's the Club Disney Winnie the Pooh and Friends Puppet Theater. Can you imagine surprising your kid when like when they got home? So I know it's not Disney, but look, I love how these style glasses can glow like this, but yet you take them out of the light. Has anyone have one of these at home? Or what do you look for if you're like hitting up a yard sale or a flea market? But that's just so cool. Look at that. <laughs> look at this Mickey Mouse playground piece. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's $495 and just the fact that it's still standing. Here's something I thought really cool. These merchandise boxes are from 1978. And they got quite a few of them, but check out this Pleasure Island license plate. They're just so cool. You had no idea they were even in existence. A Mickey Mouse treasure hunt, and it's like a tin, and I guess you move the pieces around. I mean, it's $69.99, but I just like to see this type of history. Check this out. A new species of theme park opens 1998. So that means this is like some teaser. The park isn't even open yet. And it's a Disney Animal Kingdom watch in there. A new species of theme parks. I think that's really cool. And the price, it's only $28. That's pretty good for something that hadn't even come out yet. And I gotta tell you, I'm really tempted. I don't know if that watch works, but just the idea that comes in that box and talks about how Animal Kingdom hadn't even opened yet, it really is tempting. Loaves from JCPenney's. Are you like me and waited till JCPenney opened that like, 6.30 in the evening on Thanksgiving or that 2 a.m. on Thanksgiving to get yourself one of these collections of globes. And look at this, a bottle of pixie dust. And I remember when they used to sell these inside the Disney store. This one is only $1.50. This one is $3. It's making me go back and double check what I have in my collection and maybe one I'm missing. I don't remember ever getting this blue one right here, but I don't know if that's one of the Christmas ornaments, but at these prices, how much is this one? $3. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I might grab this one. We'll see. From Universal Studios, these are from Nickelodeon, like prop chairs. Just to give you an idea, it's only $3.95 that was used somewhere in Hollywood Studios, maybe in one of their stores or something. A vintage water cooler prop display. I wonder if it was a, a, in the Tower of Terror. You can kind of um, picture like cobwebs all over. Yeah, that would be a good placement, especially for that time period. You could see them using that type of water cooler, especially before going up to their rooms in the elevator. Ooh, look at this piece, Sandy. How much is this? Yeah. Look at the details. $3,500. He was as seen in the Rosie's Irish Shop at Universal Studios. Wow, look at that detail on him. What a perfect rainy day activity. Yeah, and like I said before, we spent a lot of time in there. How yeah, long? Yeah, I think we might have been in there about three hours. Because? Maybe longer, but just, there's so much to see. And it's only a 45 minute drive from Disney. Um, but it's so worth it. There's just you'd just be amazed, especially if you're in the mood to shop. Right, and like I said, if you, we'll have to double check because I'm curious if it was blue skies and now it's dark out here. The street lamps are on. Yep. So as we always say, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Because you really never know where we're gonna end up next. Next, make each and every day, including those when it rains, an adventure that rocks.